Hello amazing person, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, I am a jewelry style. If it is not, you're welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you three easiest way, okay, that you can assess your YouTube studio desktop site. Like it's not that hard as you think. It is pretty easy. And I'm going to break it down and show you everything you need to do. If number one doesn't work for you, I'm very sure the second would. And if the second doesn't work for your phone or the location where you are, the third will definitely work for you. So these are very easy ways to assess your YouTube studio desktop site. As a small content creator, you need to always be on your YouTube Studio desktop site because there are some features there that you can't find in the YouTube app or in the YouTube Studio. Okay, so you're supposed to be always checking your YouTube Studio desktop site for information and for other things relating to your channel. So guys, as my only two way of supporting other upcoming creators, especially those that are less than a thousand subscribers, okay, and those that are not monetized, I'll be doing like a shout out, okay, to random YouTubers in my comment section. So I'm just going to go through my comments, pick one person and i'm going to give you a shout out on my video so other creators can see your channel and support you okay so this is just my only two way of supporting other content creators so guys today's community shout out goes to life as mk fam oh yes she's a youtuber based in the united states okay she creates amazing vlogs and videos okay her youtube channel is going to be here and the link to her channel is going to also be in my description box guys go check her out support her and drop a comment in the the comment section that you're coming from a jewelry style thank you so much and let us head over to the video so guys without wasting much time let's head into my phone let me show you how you can assess your youtube studio desktop site using these three simplest and very easy ways give me that thumbs up like this video drop any questions you might have in the comment section and don't forget to share this video to somebody you know it might be helpful okay guys so the first method i'm going to show you in this video is the desktop access method okay this one you can use your chrome for android or safari for iphone so you're just going to click on the chrome browser can you see this image here okay so this is my gmail you just have to make sure that the gmail address that is showing here is the one linked to your youtube channel but just in case it's a different one just click on this image it's going to take you to this part okay you click on this one now you're going to see lists of your gmail accounts like this is are your emails you're going to see lists of it now you can switch over to the email that is associated with your youtube channel this way when you go back so after coming back to this part, okay, when you've made sure that the email address that is showing here is the one that is linked to your YouTube channel. So you're just going to come over here and you're going to type studio.youtube.com. You're going to press OK or go. Now this is going to take you directly to your YouTube studio desktop site. This is my YouTube studio desktop site yes so you have to make sure first of all that the email that is showing on your google account is the one linked to your youtube channel this way it makes it easier to just one click will just bring you directly to your youtube studio dashboard okay this is my dashboard and all of that so let's head over to the second method so the second method to assess your youtube studio desktop site is through the youtube app yes the youtube app so click on the youtube app okay when you get to your youtube app you're just going to click on your profile icon now this brings you to the home page of your channel click on the setting icon now you're going just going to scroll upwards and you're going to see your data in youtube click on it it's going to bring you to this interface just scroll upwards you're going to see a part that has your the number of your videos as you can see click on that part now this is going to take you directly to your youtube studio desktop site you can see we are at this is my youtube studio desktop site i'm just going to click on this and this is my dashboard okay this is my dashboard interface this is what it looks like so this is the part you can create a video you want to go live you want to create a post you want to add playlists and all of that you can do all of these things here it's way easier because there are some features here that would help your channel there are some features here that you can't find in the youtube app or the youtube studio app okay so let me show you the third method on how you can access your youtube studio desktop site using your mobile phone this is actually my mobile phone 
So the third method you're going to use to assess our YouTube Studio desktop site is still the Chrome browser or the Safari browser for iPhone users. So just going to click on the Chrome browser. Here, you're just going to type YouTube dashboard. So when you get to this YouTube dashboard, you have to make sure that your phone is on desktop site. So you can put your phone on desktop sites like your mobile on desktop site by clicking these three dots. Scroll upwards, you're going to see desktop site click on it now your phone is going to be on the desktop site so click on the dashboard and voila this is my youtube studio desktop site yes this is my youtube studio desktop site so it's very easy this three method one of it must work like it has to work for your channel so i've got a lot of messages about assessing their youtube studio desktop site how they are finding it difficult and all of that i hope this video is going to help you assess your youtube studio desktop site and make magic create content and all of that thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful please if it was like this video subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos like this and please don't forget to drop any questions you might have in the comment section i'll be eager to answer them okay or drop any video requests you want me to make a video on and i'll gladly make a video for you so subscribe like and watch the video on your screen right now for more helpful videos and i'll see you definitely in my next video bye